Hi, how are you? Um, I fancied a bit of a play around today, so I'm going to do a nice bright green makeup look. Green is probably my least favourite colour, so I never use it. So I just thought I'd push myself out of my comfort zone. Um, if you have a colour that maybe you never worn or you never wear, go and grab it, press pause, and let's just do it together and see how it feels. Um, I'm going to start with a lip liner that's green. I couldn't find a green eyeliner. What I'm doing with a green lip liner is anybody's guess. But nevertheless, I'm going in on the eyes. Now, I'll let you know <laughs> afterwards if this was the wrong thing to do. This is from NYX. And uh, I love NYX, actually. I feel like the pigment is always great in their products. I remember I was working at Selfridges when they first launched into there. And honestly, we couldn't, like... You couldn't even keep it on the shelves, how much people were coming in to get it. It was such an exciting um, launch and people would be coming in going, excuse me, I've heard that you've got nicks in here. We'd be like, yeah, I'll come on, we'll take you to the beauty workshop, come and have a look. It was brilliant. Right, that is all over my eyes and from the feel of things is all over my contact lenses. Any other contact lens wearers? will empathise that that is one of the biggest ball aches when doing your makeup, but never mind. Okay, I'm going in with some Peaches pigments today um, because quite a few people saw, I went live with my friend Kate from Peaches last week and I feel like recently I've had a lot of questions about Peaches. This is, let me, I know what it is as well, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, it's Cactus, the names are on the bottom. You can see this is a lovely kind of emerald green. Um, if you are curious about peaches, me and Kate are going to start doing a live every week. Um, Kate actually taught me makeup. Kate and Nicola from Peaches both taught me um, pretty much 10 years ago now. So um, there's always a lot of laughs to be had with those two. Right, what I'm doing here with Cactus... I'm first of all gently taking this through the crease and what I'm going to do is first of all create a really soft blend and then I'm going to really layer this onto the eye. I've actually scooped, if I show you, I've scooped a little bit out into the lid rather than going straight into the loose pigment because I don't want to pick too much up because as you can see I've already got my base on. Now, usually if I was using loose pigments like this, I would try and do my eyes first and then do the base. Um, but it just so happened, not going to worry about that mistake, by the way. Clean blending brush, we're going to sort that out. It just so happened I already had my base on and then I felt in the mood to do this. So let me soften that out a tiny bit. Soften this out. I have gone in a bit too far on that one. I'm not going to lie to you. But I mean, at this point of lockdown, who cares? This is just a bit of fun. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to build that cactus a little bit more now. When you actually use these, like really go in on them, they're so pigmented so quickly but I am just applying the tiniest little bit to give me a wash of colour because I don't want any drop down. Now, if you can see, I've been gently kicking out that corner to give a bit of an extended edge there. And what I am going to do is keep going back in with my clean blush, blush, brush and blending it out. And I'm also going to match this underneath the eye. So, tiny little detail brush. I know this looks a bit messy, but do bear with me. I've got a master plan and I think it's going to look really nice and towards the end. Now, I'm just going to take this small detail brush and go under the eye here. That little green liner makes such a difference to pulling it all together because I'd initially picked up a black and then I spotted that and thought, no, the green will make it all feel a bit lighter and brighter 
rather than a dark smoky eye I knew it would lift it okay we've got our green in check all over what I'm now going to do see I want to have a little play with some glitters so the first thing I'm going to do is soften some of this edge See, that's looking almost turquoise now, isn't it? Okay. Now, I'm going to switch still to a flat brush. This is the Sample Beauty PA106. That was one from uh, Beth Painter. She really recommends that one. I am going... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit more of this cactus and put it on the lids so that it looks more um, dense in colour. See how that's just a bit stronger rather than the kind of turquoise wash on the other side. So I'm patting this on with a flat brush again, to prevent any drop down. I've built that up to nice and smoky. Now it's time to go in with some glitter. I'm gonna go in with Venom, which actually this is perfect. If you see how it's reflecting, it's almost like a brownie in color, but it reflects like a green. I'm gonna use this same brush to flat pack it on. See how it's just really picked the whole thing up. You can't see any brown at all either, isn't it funny? The optical illusions. These eyes are a bit like Northern Lights eyes, aren't they? That's what I'll call this video. I'll call it Northern Lights tutorial. Okay. I am actually thrilled with that, to be honest. I'm not going to do any more to it. If I could find my mascara, here we go. I'm going to just build the intensity of the mascara again. Lovely. Going to build the bottoms also. And then I just filmed like a complexion video so I didn't do anything to my base so I'm gonna crack on with a few more steps in my base in fact no I'm gonna use this is a fantastic brush this is Amy Connolly's um range that's just gone into boots in the UK she's got some fantastic bits in here this is the uh sculpted I don't know if it has a name it's the bronze and highlight brush so I'm gonna take the highlight end in the peaches cream contour look how dark that looks don't be frightened I'm going to very gently take a bit of this through the higher cheek and the temple. See how soft that ends up coming out? This comes in a number of shades as well. So if you have a deeper complexion, it goes deeper. Because actually you'd look at that and you would never think that for someone as fair as me, it would be the right shade. So I'm going to take this all the way through. Now I had a cream base on already. I had the It Cosmetic CC cream on my complexion. Will I go down the nose? Yeah, I'm doing a full makeup. Why not? I'm going to actually just take a tiny bit of this. Who do I think I am? No, see, that looks silly. I don't like any of that. <laughs> do you know what? Sometimes you have to remind yourself why you don't do things and that's what I've just done there. I just think that's a step too far. I can't buff it away now, so I'm just going to have to even it out. I don't know what I've done to the centre of this face of mine. Where's my foundation brush? Any mistakes? Go back in with your foundation brush and nine times out of ten, that will sort it. That's enough for me. Fine. 
tickle into that corner. Um, I'm going to use the same brush. I've got 10 minutes. Brilliant. I've done 10 minutes even. Same brush, a little bit of cream blush. This is Tutti Fruity. I am going to blend this out, don't worry. Lovely. No, I'm just going to soften the edge of that again with my old foundation brush. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of pigment in Crush, which is like a soft, pinky peachy gold. And I'm going to finish my cheeks off with this. But have I got a smaller... No, I don't. I'm going back in with this. Same little sculpted end. I wouldn't usually use a pigment after I've just used creams on that brush but I feel like it'll be fine now this is really reflective I happen to be having a not so textured skin day today which I'm delighted about but if I had any texture in my skin I would have to avoid this altogether now I'm taking a bit of blusher on my nose this is just you know the side effects of being absolutely obsessed with TikTok these days. This is what they all do. Bit of blush and highlight. I mean, that looks crazy as well. I feel like half of this video has been me taking things off that I'm putting on. Have I got my little freckle tin? If I had my little freckle thing, I'd have drawn some freckles on. Let me just put like a tiny bit of blush. I'm happy with that. Why not? We're here to experiment. It's the afternoon and I've already got my lips on, so I don't need to put them on. But yeah, there we go. I'm delighted with that. Um, so my little task for you would be if you've got a colour that you never usually wear or you think it doesn't look nice on you, just go and grab it and have a play. And this, everything I used in that video, by the way, is a few pounds. And one of the things I really want to emphasise, especially at the moment, you know, we're all in this absolute melting pot pressure cooker of just all of the coronavirus things coming at us and I really don't want you to feel like you have to be spending loads of money to look and feel great you know just grab your old makeup bag or colours that you haven't been using or things that have been in the bottom of the drawer and get them out and have a play with them and I bet you'll feel great so I hope you take that away from the video too but anyway I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon